All right, moving on. We got Oklahoma State, a, a team that was a, a very popular team on the show last year for multiple reasons. Obviously, you know, a little <laughs> big time long shot hedge from Matthew had him feeling good. Obviously, they made it to the Big 12 championship just a year ago after a brutal start to the season. They went nine and three in the regular season and just had, had a tremendous season with Alan Bowman. Alan Bowman's back, right? And Alan Bowman's back. Plus 12,500 to win the Heisman, that Ollie Gordon kid is just saying. Right and now? he hardly played in the first four games of last year. I'm just going to say that. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. He is 125 to 1 to win the Heisman. Just saying. This is not advice. I just but saying, just if, saying. If you dabble in that and, and you're going to throw something, if you're going to bet on a Heisman winner anyways, all I'm saying is could be worth a tiny sprinkle. And it seems like they're a team that returns a lot of production, don't they? I mean, they're fourth in returning production. Yeah. yeah. Which is crazy. I mean, top 15, both offensively and defensively. The problem is, is I just thought their schedule last year was super easy. And that's why you saw them. You saw the window that they had in the Big 12. And like maybe if they win a couple of games here and there, they can really do some damage in the Big 12. And they did. And they got hot. And and at home, they are such a dangerous team in Stillwater. It, you, that's one of the places where you just do not want to go see a conference opponent in Stillwater, especially when they're humming or when you least expect them to do so. Mike Gundy loves to do that. But to me, their schedule is just... It's kind of tough this year. I, I have to believe Arkansas will be better than, than last year. Taylor Green, maybe. Maybe Taylor Green season. We'll see. We'll I see love Taylor Green. We'll see if Bobby Petrino can reel him in. And but, There will but be no disrespect of Taylor Green on this show. No, not at all. South Dakota State, which I'm not going to hear sit here and tell you that, that South Dakota State should be favored in that game. But they are a machine right now in the FCS. And obviously, they lose a lot of good pieces and some coaching staff. But, yeah, th they're – that's not going to be easy. You got to go to Tulsa, which is whatever. But Utah, Kansas State, West Virginia, at BYU, at Baylor, Arizona State improving under Kenny Dillingham, at TCU, Texas Tech improving under Joey McGuire, and at Colorado to finish the year. To me, that's just – there's not a single game in the Big 12 other than maybe Arizona State who we're, we're, we're kind of high on maybe that roster getting better year over year and that coaching staff that you feel good about them winning. And that's the reality of Big 12 – it's also like that. That's so much volatility you can have there. You could go Oklahoma State. I wouldn't be surprised if they went three and nine, or they went four and five, or was it four? I'm sorry, four and eight. It just would not surprise me because of the volatility that's going to be there in the Big Twelve and the way that their schedule shakes out dynamically wise. You know, be, because of who's on the road, who's at home, and and when you're playing them and whatnot. To me, it just screams regression season. Yeah. That doesn't mean uh, – actually, it does mean that. The issue is, like, when I look at this schedule, it's like – I still think there's a lot of question marks with Kansas State. I think there's a lot of question marks with BYU. I think Baylor, Arizona State, TCU, Colorado, Arkansas. Like, it was an easier schedule last year. I still think that, like – I still think Oklahoma State – could win eight games, you know? Like, I still think they could do that. Now, that would still be regression, right, from nine and three. That's what we're talking about here. So, like... And Big 12, more, more so Big 12 runner-ups, yeah. which is what they were a year yeah. ago. To me, that, that's that's where you see some of the yeah. regression. And that secondary was terrible last year. It was terrible. Let me whip out some stats for you right here. Oklahoma State, their pass defense. Passing yards per game, 125th in the country. Passing yards per attempt, 125th. Passing yards per completion, 128th. Total yards per game on defense, 120, 122nd. I mean, they're 91st in points per game let up. I mean, it's like their offense is going to be awesome. Though. Rashad Owens is awesome. Brendan Presley is awesome. I like Alan Bowman, I think, more than most people do. Ollie Gordon, obviously, that offensive line's coming back. It's going to be like, can they can they improve on the defensive side of the ball? Like, I don't, They didn't bring in that many transfers at all, did they? On the defense side, no, they brought in a safety and and a defensive lineman. And that's about it. Yeah, and we'll see. We'll see where that goes, man. But I'm with you. Like, yeah, it was a it was a favorable schedule for them last year. Now, do I think that this still is a pretty decent team? I mean, they beat Oklahoma last year. You know, they beat Oklahoma. 
Now, could they compete with Texas? No, not necessarily. It's like... Or UCF. <laughs> here's the thing about this team. Yeah, there could be regression, and we could call them a least improved team candidate, but I still have a hard time seeing the wheels fall underneath or seeing the, the floor fall underneath them, right? Like, this is not going to be a collapse season for Oklahoma State. If they regress, it's not going to be collapse, right? I, I don't... I, I think... To me, I've learned enough to just never say never to the Big 12, right? I just I, – I don't know if I can realistically sit here and say that, that nothing is possible or that anything is impossible in the Big 12 just because the nature of what's what it's going to be this year. And, and to me, you won so many close games, so many close games, Kansas State. I know. They Kansas, should not have won that BYU West game. Virginia. BYU was wild. We were watching that together. <laughs> that was, that awesome. was crazy. And and to send them to the Big Twelve championship. To send them to the Big Twelve and and obviously you just saw to me you saw the wheels come off against UCF and, and what happened there. Yes, it was a weird game, wild game. I get that. Rainy, whatever. I mean, you had but, some turnovers early. Gus Malzahn kind of had them had them figured out. Yeah, but the, who, who's to say that didn't put on tape exactly what you need to do? Uh, to, to really stop Ollie Gordon and company there. So I don't know. I to me, I just think I, I'm a little bit lower than you are on them. Obviously, you're maybe it's recent bias because of how grateful you are of them last year. <laughs> but, I but regardless, okay, I just, see your point. Your let me, point I, I'm just saying, like the wheels falling beneath. Like, what's the wheels falling underneath them? Is that not making a bowl game? Four or five wins. Yeah. When was the last time that happened to Mike Gundy's tenure? Tr- trust me, I know. And and when am I going to learn? To stop doubting Mike Gundy. When am I going to learn? I don't know. I don't know. 